Today we're checking out another projector, this time by DB Power. I want to thank them for sending this over to review on the channel, but I'll leave a link down below with current pricing and more information. This one actually looks like a projector that I reviewed quite a while ago, but I believe this is an updated version. It's got native 1080p resolution. They're advertising 100,000 hours for the LED lamp life. It's going to work on a screen up to 200 inches. This one also has Wi-Fi 6 as well. As you can see, it comes in a nice Nice travel case. Actually, it just looks like a backpack. Inside the box, you've got an HDMI cable included, audio video adapter, power cable. You've also got a quick start guide and user manual. Pretty nice little remote control. Looks like you've got most of your controls on there. Power, source, menu, home, back button, volume up and down, focus, plus and minus. You can also flip the screen and mute button as well. Directional arrows. You can see you've got a lens cap here on the front. Along with your remote control sensor, some ventilation on one side. You've got your air filter on the other side. All of your connections are here on the back power, remote control sensor, two USB ports, headphone jack, audio video, and two HDMI ports as well. Then below that is your speaker. Sort of a nice design here on the top. You've got a fabric material here. Sort of reminds me of what you would see on a smart speaker. And then you've got some controls here along the top as well. Four rubber feet on the corners, which you can pop off if you wanna mount this to a ceiling. Of course, your adjustable foot there in the middle. Now, once you get the projector hooked up, you can adjust the focus using the plus and minus buttons right on the remote control. The home screen on here is actually pretty similar to some other projectors I've tested out. It's a fairly simple setup. You've got some input shortcuts over to the left, like HDMI 1, HDMI 2, audio video. You also have iOS cast and mirror cast options there as well. Then film, music, photo, and office suite shortcuts. Inside the settings, you can adjust Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you have projection settings like gyro, horizon, four point keystone, and motor focusing. You've also got system update, other, and about. Once you connect the streaming device of your choice, you'll be able to get all of your favorite apps on here. Again, I was kind of surprised at the screen quality with this one. It's much better than you would think for a projector in this category. You'll also notice this projector has a blue accent light there right on the top. You'll probably want to use an external soundbar or surround sound speakers with this projector, but the built-in audio is actually pretty decent for a small to medium-sized room. Here's a quick sample just to give you an idea of what to expect. I also connected my iPad to this. The text on here is nice and sharp, so you could easily use this for presentations or if you wanna do some mobile gaming on here as well. As you can see here with Asphalt 9, which was nice and smooth without too much input lag using my Xbox controller through Bluetooth. This is also good for some retro gaming on here as well. And I was surprised when I tested out Rocket League with my Xbox Series X. Again, much better than I was expecting with this projector. However, I did have an issue where the remote control IR signal didn't seem to be quite as strong as it should be. Hopefully it's just the one that I have, but everything else with this projector seemed to run pretty smooth. So it would probably be a pretty good option for a game room, theater room, or if you're just wanting to give this as a gift. Definitely seems like a good entry level option by DB Power.